if you've been in the blockchain space a while, especially if you've been in the XRP community, you surely remember the discovery of the closed door meeting with the president of the Central Bank of Brazil and Ripple's Brad Garlinghouse. That was in May of 2020. It was a video conference and the meeting set the space on fire with its closed to the press meetup in the Central Bank headquarters building and it was only said an institutional matter. Hey, hey, everybody, this is a breaking news video, a little special. I want to tell you that the National Federation of Central Bank Server Associations, that's abbreviated as FENASBAC, F-E-N-A-S-B-A-C, announced a partnership with the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro, UFRJ, with Polkadot and Ripple to further research in search of solutions for interoperability between blockchain networks and DREX, D-R-E-X, which is the Brazilian digital currency with the Central Bank of Brazil. According to the announcement, the research will be carried out through the LIFT Learning Program, a joint initiative between the Central Bank BC and the National Federation of the Central Bank Servants Association, that's that, Benisbach. Lift Learning is a virtual laboratory that brings together banks, payment institutions, fintechs, and financial technology companies with higher education institutions to develop innovative solutions that benefit the national financial system, or SFN, and the population. The project seeks to develop a technological solution that allows transactions between different blockchain networks while maintaining security, which will facilitate the flow of information and resources between DREX and other platforms. Blockchain interoperability is a crucial topic for the development of the SFN as it will allow the integration of different systems and the creation of new products and services. Polkadot stands out for its interoperability, that is the ability to make different blockchains communicate with each other. So during the program, they will explore the company's knowledge of interoperability solutions to think of solutions that meet the needs of the DREX project and that contribute to the integration of different systems and the creation of new products and services. Ripple, on the other hand, brings more than a decade of experience focusing on real cases and bridging the gap between traditional finance and blockchain. Ripple is a key contributor to the XRP Ledger, a layer one decentralized blockchain built for business. Ripple's vision is to enable a world where value moves as easily as information on the internet. A critical element in bringing this reality to life is being able to seamlessly transfer value between systems through a digitally native experience that makes the way we buy, lend, sell, invest, and send money around the world more transparent, efficient, and secure. The Lyft Learning Project will last 12 months and will feature the participation of researchers from UFRJ. Polkadot and Ripple will provide technical support and are sponsors of the program. We have a quote from Ripple where they say that they have always believed in a multi-chain world and the power of using blockchain to improve the current financial landscape for consumers and businesses. The collaboration with the Central Bank and UFRJ on this project is a positive example of the private and public collaboration to safely bring new financial technologies to the market in Brazil. This was said by Silvio Pelgado, the managing director of LATAM at Ripple. And from Polkadot, they say that they are excited to collaborate with the Central Bank and the UFRJ on this project. Brazil is a reference for the world in promoting technologies for the financial system. We believe that blockchain interoperability is fundamental to the future of finance, and we are committed to bringing solutions that benefit the Brazilian population. 
That came from Luis Del Porto, and he is one of the members of the Polka Dots business development team in Brazil. What a fabulous announcement. The expansion for Ripple into Brazil was more than five years ago when an office was announced to serve all of Latin America in June 2019. And then in August 2022, a big on-demand liquidity, which uses the Digital Asset XRP partner, announced that they were going to work with Ripple and it was going to be within the largest FX providers, Brazil TravelX Bank. Brazil has really put a fast forward on their digital strategy. 14 hours ago, the central bank announced that they're going to formulate a plan for the stablecoin crypto rules this year. On the Banco Central do Brasil website, you can see on the very first page at the top, it says, check out the next steps in regulating crypto assets and virtual asset service providers. This is breaking 20th of May, 2024. Their digital Brazilian Royale called the Drex is a CBDC and it's moving to the use cases carried out on DLT. The pilot phase will be concluded at the end of 2024. As I covered the many Ripple and Brazilian news in yesterday's video, I think you need to keep your eye on the LATAM region. And then just as I went to upload this news, Flare Networks broke that they have the first native stablecoin. Wow, this digital asset custodian hex trust group with billions in assets under custody is going to safe keep this one-to-one -one US dollar asset called USDX. It'll enable the holders to earn a real world yield Stablecoins are fundamental to DeFi, and Clearpool is involved with their decentralized finance marketplace, which is backed by huge investors, including Sequoia, Hashkey, and Arrington Capital. They're live across Ethereum, Polygon, Optimism, Mantle, and Avalanche. Both of these breaking stories on a green day like today, this is why I like this space. All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.